an unforgettable moment for India. The world held its breath today watching the Indian spacecraft successfully land near the south pole of the moon, the first time any country has gone to this region. The so-called flawless moon landing is a massive feat for the country and humankind, an inspiration to other nations that they too can blast off to the moon. <laughs> It's the moment scientists in India could breathe a sigh of relief, pure joy in the country as an Indian spacecraft landed on the rugged, unexplored south pole of the moon. In a mission seen as crucial to lunar exploration and India's standing as a space power. Soft landing on the moon, India is on the moon. India is on the moon and the celebrations rang out across the country from school children to soldiers. An inspiration for countries around the world. This success belongs to all of humanity and it will help moon missions by other countries in the future. I'm confident that all countries in the world, including those from the global south, are capable of achieving such feats. India's Prime Minister watched the landing from South Africa, where he is attending a BRICS summit. The Indian Space Research Organization's Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft landing makes India the fourth nation to successfully land a spacecraft on the moon after the United States, China and Russia, but the first to land on the moon's south pole. India has reached the south pole of the moon where no country in the world could reach to date with the dedication and talent of its scientists. This achievement not only marks India's presence on the moon, but also symbolizes the aspirations of 1.4 billion Indians. Beyond that, it's a historic moment for humanity as we venture into uncharted territory near the moon's south pole. This was India's second attempt to land a spacecraft on the moon and comes less than a week after Russia's Luna 25 mission failed. Nearly 7 million people watched the YouTube live stream. The Chandrayaan-3 is expected to remain functional for two weeks, running a series of experiments, including a spectrometer analysis of the mineral composition of the lunar surface. The landing is expected to boost India's reputation for cost-competitive space engineering. The Chandrayaan-3 was launched with a budget of about 6.15 billion rupees or $74 million, less than the cost to produce the 2013 Hollywood space thriller Gravity. Rough terrain makes a South Pole landing difficult and a first landing is historic. Ice from that part of the moon could supply fuel, oxygen and drinking water for future missions.